Captain LaFrog. The vast mateys! There lies the fortress of Blackbeard the pirate, where the fair damsel is being held prisoner. Enemy ship approaching, Captain Blackbeard. Oh, it's that wonderful, handsome, swashbuckling Captain LaFrog. He's coming to rescue moi. Not if I can help it. as soon as Admiral Hooknose gets here with his fleet. Admiral Hooknose of the Galactic Patrol, reporting for duty, sir. Gonzo, what are you doing in a spacesuit? You're supposed to be a pirate, not a space cadet. I don't want to be a pirate. Rocket ships are more exciting than stupid boats. anyone named Will? I used to know a Jill, but she lives in New Jersey. I don't think this cannon will shoot that far. Forget Will, Fuzzy. Just fire the cannon. Oh, okay. I put too much swash in my swashbuckle. Aha! You're caught, LaFrog! Hunger! Ooh! Who's that? I'm back! Ooh! Ah! Yeah! Yes! What? No one can buck swash is mine! Um, how about putting me down, Piggy? Oh, sorry. Captain LaFrog, we're out of control. We're drifting into the fortress. Hurry, <laughs> Mars. Prepare for landing. He's going to ram us. Ram! Captain <laughs> Ship! What's going on in here? Are you guys all right? Sure, we're great, Nanny. Kermie, I mean, Captain the Frog just saved Moa from Blackbeard the Pirate. That was me, Nanny. I wish it was a real pirate. They were brave and heroic and sailed the seven seas. Not all pirates were brave and heroic, Skater. <gasps> in fact, the real Blackbeard wasn't very nice at all. His real name was Edward Teach, and he used to attack ships in the Carolinas and Virginia and hurt people. Really? He hurt people? Uh-huh. Until they caught him in 1718. And well, you mean... Uh-huh. Ah. Oh. Wow. What kind of book is this? It's a picture book of world history, Ralph. World history, huh? Looks interesting. Hey, don't hug it, Ralph. Neat pictures. I'll be back later. Enjoy the book. Look at those funny guys. Those are cavemen, Fozzie. Did you say spacemen? Let me see. What are you doing, Gonzo? I'm looking for my favorite period in history. You're going to be history if you don't watch your manners, Nitwit. Imagine the size of the aquarium you'd need to keep that lizard. That's not a lizard. It's a dinosaur. A stegosaurus, to be exact. How did you know that, Scooter? Because prehistoric time is my favorite part of history. Think of it. Smoking volcanoes, giant reptiles, bubbling swamps. Ew, this place smells yucky. Oh, it's creepy looking, too. It's not creepy if you understand it. I'm going to be a paleontologist when I grow up. You're going to study aliens? 
not alientologist, paleontologist. You know, a doctor of fossilosophy. Oh, I know that. As a paleontologist, I'll study fossils to find out what life was like millions of years ago. Now, Gonzo, why are you still wearing your spacesuit? This isn't the space age, it's the stone age. Just follow me, guys. I know all about these prehistoric swamps. Yo! Hey, who put this hole here? I think he did. Yay! <laughs> Gee, you're really good with animals, Piggy. Thank you, Fozzie. Let me try. Give me your paw. Oh, no. I don't know about you, but I think I'd rather have a poodle. I think you're hungry. Nice, Poppy. Oh, no. My puppy! Oh, no! I was trying to bring it home! Animal, wait! Stop! Don't do that, animal! Animal, stop! Animal, where's the dinosaur? Puppy! Oh, no! no! He's too big to be in the nursery! Yeah! Mommy will be mad if she finds him here! I know! We can hide him in the closet! Good idea! <laughs> Well, see if you can do it without making quite so much noise, okay? Okay, Nanny. It's got to be in here somewhere. Don't hog the book, Gonzo. Yeah, let us look at it. Look, that's Sir Isaac Newton. He discovered the laws of gravity. Oh, I know how he did that. He was sitting under a tomato tree one day, trying to discover the laws of comedy. Hmm, let's see. A good joke has to have a chicken in it. Oh, I've got one. Why don't chickens lay grapefruits? Because who'd want to eat a grapefruit omelet? Waka, waka, waka! <laughs> hey, I just discovered the law of gravity. What goes up must come down. What? <laughs> I think I just discovered the law of comedy, too. If you don't have a good joke, all you need is a ripe tomato. Ah! This part of history is boring. Turn the page, animal. Me turn! Me turn! I think we went too far. Me first! Hey, look at this! It's Columbus discovering America! Peter, I, uh, I think it's on the next page. Gonzo, what are you doing? I'm getting ready to fly into space. But this is 1492. No one's gonna go into space for almost 500 years, Gonzo. Ha! That's what you think. We're going into space just as soon as we reach the end of the page. Oh, no! Oh, no! What part of history are we in now? I think it's the part without any pictures. If you like good pictures, you'll love my favorite part of history. I bet it's on the next page. Close, but no cigar. Come on, Gonzo, let us look. Wow, the American Revolution. That's my favorite part of history. Hold this, Fuzzy. Boat! You got it! 
Where are we going, Kermit Washington? Um, I don't know, Fozzie. The painting ends here. I don't know. Turn the page. Okay. Turn page. Turn page. Hey, look at that. Parade! Parade! It's the spirit of 76. in history, it's science fiction. Nice 
more, fellas. Say, uh, can you guys fix my busted rocket? No, but we can make you a new one. You can? Oh, well, then I want a big one, you know, with, with big fins and a steering wheel and bucket seats and... We'll get right on. Wait over there, Sonny. Thanks. Hey, Melvin, you know what a fin is? No, but I don't know what a bucket seat is either. <laughs> yeah. This sure doesn't look like a rocket store to me. Well, uh, maybe they keep the rockets out back. Hey, he looks like a salesman. Her Imperial Majesty, Queen Teacup. The Queen? Boy, I bet she's gonna buy an expensive rocket. You are trespassers in the secret underground city of Planet X. And as such, you must be punished. But we didn't do anything. Uh, excuse me, your queenliness, but um, we didn't mean to come here. See, actually, Miss Queen Lady, we came here to... Uh, to make you laugh. Oh, boy. With one of my great jokes. Oh, oh no. no. You really love this one, your royal swankiness. It's a real Lulu. <clears throat> Okay, here goes. When is a queen not a queen? Give up? <laughs> when she's a ruler. <laughs> Get it? Queen? Ruler? <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? Oh. Oh, no. uh -oh. Perhaps ten lashes of the scrubula from the gentle Lord Argo will improve the fuzzy one's sense of humor. No! Not the scrabula! Anything but the scrabula! Not that! Uh, uh, wait a minute. What is a scrabula anyway? Wait a minute, Queenie. If if you do that to Fozzie, then then you have to do that to all of us. I beg your pardon! Speak for yourself, Kermit. Very well, then. Have it your way. Lord Argo locks them up in our deepest, darkest dungeon while we decide their fate. No! That sounds horrible! Just get them out of my sight. But, but your queenliness. Oh, whatever will we do, Kermit? Don't look at me, Piggy. You took over as our captain, remember? <gasps> what? <laughs> hey, it's Gonzo! What are you driving? Captain Gonzo to the rescue! Hop in, guys! Hooray! Let's go! We're saved! Thank you. Come on, guys, let's go! Move it, move it! What's the meaning of this? God, quickly! Stop them, you fools! Don't let them get away! After them! Pretty cool rocket, huh? Yeah! This isn't a rocket! It's just a crummy old car! How are we going to fly home in a car, Gonzo? Relax! I'll think of something. I'm the captain, remember? You? Don't be ridiculous! I'm the captain and I should be driving! Give me that wheel! Hey, wait! Hey, watch out! The most fun you can ever have. I hope Nanny is having as nice a vacation as we are. Right, Aunt Fanny? Right, Piggy. Um... Has anyone seen animal lately? Oh, bye bye. <gasps> 